Most Arduino starter kits look like this. A lot of sensors, the Arduino breadboard and a bunch of wires that can overwhelm beginners. But this one, everything is built into a single PCB. No breadboards, no messy jumper wires. Just plug it in and start coding. But here's the real question. Does this make it learning the Arduino the best way? Let's find it out. Hello everyone and welcome back to the Nerd Cave. I'm Vernon and this is Odin. And today we are going to review this all-in-one starter kit for the Arduino. This all-in-one starter kit is from Alacro and we have 20 plus lessons with 15 built-in modules. Inside this kit we have an infrared remote, a USB-C cable and a soil moisture sensor and some extra parts for our servo. And then here is all the 15 built-in modules nicely on the PCB. This kit is also open source, so the schematic files with the data sheet and everything is also available on GitHub. A nice thing about this PCB is that the silk screen shows where is our modules connected. So for example, this relay is connected to digital pin 4 and this buzzer to D3 and so on. So it is very nicely labeled and here we can see we have the 80 mega chip, which is the same as the Arduino Uno. I don't have a lot of experience with the Arduino since I always use MicroPython with the ESP board or Raspberry Pi Pico. So this is also something a bit new to me. So let's go look at the documentation that is given with this kit. So this is the PDF that comes with the kit. We see we have a total of 21 lessons and then in the beginning we have an introduction and then how to get started with the Arduino IDE. Now if we scroll down a little bit, it shows you how does the Arduino IDE look, like all the icons, what do they do. And then here we have lesson 1, LED control. So it explains what hardware we'll use in this lesson and also an introduction. And we have some working principle of an LED. And then how will it look before running and after running. So here they have some key explanations of the code. So variable definition, setup function and then the loop function and then here we can download the complete code and then upload this to the kit so i'm going to go quickly download all of this code and open the arduino ide and let's run this first example i quickly went and set up my arduino ide and here i have all the lessons so let's go to the led control which is lesson one and we will open this arduino file and then here we have our arduino uno and here we set up pen 10 which is our led connected to which shows on a PCB D10. And then here we set up our pin as a output. And here we have a loop function where we will write and set this pin high for one second. So it'll be on for one second and then we turn it off for one second. So if I upload this code, it will compile the sketch and it will show uploading. And then there it is done uploading. And here we have the following output. We have the LED flashing as expected. So the lessons do explain working principles, but it's a lot of you just copy the code, paste it, and then run it, and you see the output. Now, why would I buy a kit like this? Now, if I want to teach my daughter, let's say electronics, maybe I would first want to focus on the coding and keeping it very simple before I will teach her how to use a breadboard and read a diagram. And then for this, then this is perfect. Also for a classroom environment. Now for me, which I would like to use this for is I can play around with different centers and write different programs so I can use a combination of all of these. Now what is also nice is like I said, there is this port here at the bottom if you want to connect your own sensor to this port. We have access to two analog pins, two I squared C's and a digital pin and also UART. So if we wanted to, we can go connect a sensor like this which will connect to our analog or digital. So we can also go use different sensors and connect it to our board and then maybe use the OLED to display the output. My overall verdict for this board is for the quality of the board plus all the lessons and everything you get for that price point, I think it is perfect for beginners. I do think it is lacking a little bit of information. So for example, in the Arduino, they do explain the code overview but it doesn't really ex explain so much about Arduino code. Like you can change the variable names and have like extra challenges. So let's say flash this LED with different times or things like that. So 
I think it's a perfect starting point for beginners, but if you are someone that has already used the Arduino before and you would just want a quick prototyping tool with these modules here, then this is also a good thing to buy. I hope you found this review helpful and if you have any questions about this, let me know in the comment section. I will see you in the next video.